corkscrew, glass, bottle. Cheers. Eat this. Drink that. Go. With Jimmy Cephalo and Brenda Bassett. Eat this, drink that, go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to HCA East Florida's Eat the Street That Go, presented by the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau, Salou Mario 104, and American Airlines. I'm Jimmy Cephalo, and our co host and producer, Brenda Bassett. Brenda? Good morning. We're so pleased to be joined by our first guest. One of our favorites is Carlo Donadoni, partner with the Grasper Group, featuring today Spontino Bakery and Catering, newly appointed president, too, of the Italian Federation of Chefs, which is a really big deal. Congratulations, yes, Carlo. That's Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Brenda, you. Jim, to have him. And here. that's going to be a, na it's a nationwide element. Here in Miami, we've got, yes. what, 40, 50 chefs, yes. Italian chefs. Yes, we just started in this year, 2017, and we are expanding. The, the headquarters is going to be in Miami, and we try to expand in the in future months, uh, future year, because the American is pretty big, to all different other states, and create a big rumor about the Italian cuisine right. and Italian chefs. Right, and these are authentic Italian chefs. So it's a great resource for you to go to and say, I'm going to uh, San Francisco. I want to go to an authentic Italian restaurant. You can find that chef. We'll give you more information as we go right. on through the future. Right. And today you're making for us what? We're going to make uh, a quiche Lorraine. It's a <laughs> typical dishes. There is a savory that you use it for lunch or most of the time they can be used for brunch, especially right. in the weekend uh, to you know, please one of the items of the brunch menu. Right. So it's a... Uh, you can have it any time of day. Any time really. of the day. <laughs> right. And, uh, but usually it's more common to eat uh, during the, in the menu of the brunch. You can find more and more in the, in the restaurant menu. How do you start? Yeah. So we're starting with the fresh eggs. So we're going to bring some fresh eggs. And by the way, while Carlo is doing that, this is uh, their brand new Prosecco that's uh, specific to the grass group. It's called Chin Chin. Yes. And just absolutely wonderful. It's a dry Prosecco um, from the Veneto region, Valo Vienna Day. It's just a marvelous it's bottle really of wine. Good. It really is. It's a great thing to go into a Slimmery 104, for example, and start with that uh, from the table and then work on to what you're going to have for your main course right. and your main wine. Right. Um, Carla, you're, you're, you're a busy boy. You've also got this Flying with the Stars event that you do with American yes. Airlines every year? Yes, we're going to do this year. is going to be the fourth edition. It's going to be uh, at the Rally Hotel, October 19. We're going to have uh, three chefs, star Michelin chef, flying wow. from Italy. One is going to be Luigi Pomata from Sardinia, which yeah. is one of the king of the tuna. They call the king of the tuna because it's one of the top chef preparing, uh, working with tuna. We have uh, uh, Marcello Trentini from Turin, and we also have uh, Tommaso Arrigoni from Innocenti Evasioni Milano. We're going to do a big events. This year, uh, everything is going to be go towards to Jerry, uh, Perry J. Coin Foundation. It's a foundation for uh, uh, life safe uh, for uh, marine life safe. Mm -hmm. and, oh, that's uh, great. If you take a look at some of the, 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 the baked goods that uh, the Carlo has oh, brought, no, is that those. a spoolie Italian? Now, this one we have uh, an almond croissant. Right. That one in the, the second one is an apple pocket with a fresh compote of uh, fresh apple. We have a regular croissant. We have a, a um, chantilly cream and a raisin uh, danish. We have a raspberry organic danish. We have a cheese danish, and we have a apricot danish. Oh, okay. oh. This is a small selection of, I mean, Just the humongous uh, list right, of right, uh, right. items that we right. have. So, right, so I open the uh, broken the eggs. We put them some kosher salt, some cayenne peppers. We bring some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Oh, there's a dozen eggs in there. Just so if you're, yeah. if you're listening on the radio. Exactly. It's a large quiche, though. So it's a yes, quiche. it's 12 inch uh, quiche. Usually you can do a generous 12 portion of, uh, right. of quiche. So we're stirring a little bit the eggs until we break them evenly. Is quiche a popular dish in Italy as well? Is a, in Italian, we call them uh, torta salata, mm. but uh, quiche Lorraine is more common because the French right. gets first, right. so right. we <laughs> copy their own name, so quiche Lorraine is more popular, it's more uh, easy to, for the client to understand what's, but, sure. 
So in here we're gonna put them some uh, toasted uh, bacon that mm -hmm. we toasted before. We put them inside. And you're from Milan. I'm from Milan, yes. Yeah. Originally I'm from Milan. Absolutely beautiful. And you know, the, the, the crust that you made is just mm -hmm. absolutely as beautiful as you're gonna find. Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous crust. Where do you see the crust? So now I bring the, the shell, which is, uh, I already mold before for spaces and everything. Oh, it's basically flowers, Let's eggs. See if we can hold this up. Flour, eggs, and uh, salt, and uh, some cayenne pepper. It's just beautiful. So we let them up evenly. We put them in the cake pan. Now we're pouring little by little inside to the mold. It can't get much easier than that. It really no. can't. And for somebody who's at home. And uh, we do a little sprinkle of more cheese. Right. More cheese. And we put them some heavy whipped cream mm -hmm. on the oh, top. Okay. Heavy cream on top of that. So you didn't stir it in, you just spoon it. No, you, you put it in there and you put it over. Them evenly there. It's absolutely beautiful. And for somebody at home, you can always buy a pie crust and, crust and do that too. Right. And this is the best because it's made uh, by the bakery, but by, by Spontino Bakery and Catering, but just absolutely beautiful. That goes into the oven for how now long? Now it goes to the oven at 450 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay. okay. We're going to come back. We're going to tell you more. We're going to taste this oven. wonderful Lorraine. And uh, we're also going to taste me. I bet you, I bet you, Brenda wants one of those baked goods because I Brenda? can tell yeah. she does. We'll do that right after this on HCA East Florida's Eat the Street Bagel, presented by Telemarie 104, the Greater Miami Commission Business Bureau, and American Airlines. We're pleased to be here with Carlo uh, Donadoni, the uh, Spontino Catering and Bakery chef, part of the owner of the Graspa Group, Telemarie 104. As you know, uh, one of our favorites, part of Miami Spice. Uh, and you can learn more at spontinocatering.com. Uh, Carlo made a quiche, quiche Lorraine, in, yes. in our first segment, and you have that baking in the oven. I just put them up from the oven, and uh, look how beautiful that it is. It is gorgeous. I just preparing it two little slices oh. so you can guys taste it. We put them a little bit of salad as a decoration, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to fill them up. On the salad, so it's a uh, one. That's a great combo, isn't it? It's a, it's a great. Yeah, brush. it can be used for a combo for with a little bit of soup, salad, and a little quiche. So you can create a combo for. Uh, oh, that's so good. That is so wonderful. See, it's, it's light. It's really light. It's uh, it's about as uh, tender as could be. The crust is perfect. Perfect. And it's it's a great uh, uh, savory savory dish. Brenda, now she okay. couldn't help herself, Carlo. <laughs> She had to go to the pastries. Now you chose two, Brenda. I did. What, what did you choose? I chose the apple. Apple pocket. Apple pocket. And cut it in half right. there. Mm. And again, you know, it's all in the it's all in the, the uh, It's all in the dough. The dough and the way that's all done. Everything is fresh, made with the, you know yeah. every day with the fresh butter, Italian flowers. I gotta try this one too. Everything is uh, we try to have the top of the best ingredients to Simple. produce. How our, did you learn how to bake? Where did this come from? I always liked, since I was a kid, the, the bread for me is uh, one of the ingredients that uh, then they don't have to miss it on the table. When I sit at the table, if something is, the bread is missing, is missing. Right, uh, right. A, a good dinner or a good lunch, a part of the meal. Right. And I always like it and I, beside my culinary studying, I take a class and I take a degree also in bakery. I'm a baker, a third degree baker. Right. And now, because I mean, with all the multitask that I'm into it, I have uh, this baker actually is coming in next month uh, and because the company is growing. Uh, you know, growing up again, um, one of my favorite things was hot bread out of an oven. Mm -hmm. And they would cut it and they would drizzle some olive oil and some black pepper on top yes. of it. Is this a tradition in Italy? In yes, Italy? I mean, we usually put uh, bread or butter, salty butter. We well, put salty salt, butter. I like salty butter. <laughs> we put salty butter and you right. put them in the warm bread. You know, it's, there's nothing better. All right, Brenda, there's a second. There's, this is the, this is what, the croissant with the almond? almond? This yeah. is an almond croissant. We put them a little bit of uh, light uh, rum flavor inside, and we toasted the, the raw mm -hmm. almonds, and we, we create the croissant, which is one of my favorite croissants. Mm. Mm. Wow. But there's no butter in that, right? Yes. <laughs> I figured there was. Of course, no, yes. They were just a teeny bit. But that, that is the best croissant. I think I've ever had. 
Uh, you know, it's got a crunch to it, but it's still soft. It's just a perfect pastry. There's also a list, a product list yes. that, right. that, that they just brought out. And it's yes. it's about as, you know, it's it's huge. Yes, right. we have a long... Because uh, I guess different restaurants need different they things. They require different things. Yes, and we have, I mean, from our uh, tradition, uh, Italy has a, a long tradition of bread. So from north to south, there is a zillion of different sizes and type of bread. So well, I we try to get the best of the Italy and to produce right. here in... I had a grandfather from Campania mm -hmm. and Spugliatelle was what he yes. loved most. It looked like a shell kind yeah. of a mm -hmm. thing. That's why I thought that might have been it's kind of a shell kind of... But right. a, just an amazing mm -hmm. product. Oh. Um, if you want to taste some of the product, just want to incognito go in. Go to Sol Maria 104 uh, because you'll find and order that uh, cheese and salumi, oh, and salumi plate. That because the breads with it are just magnificent, and so is the salumi and cheese. We go by and just get it to go. We've Take done that home, before. To have it over the weekend and, and for people to well, eat. Well, always uh, at Christmas time, I always go into Salumi yeah. 104, yeah. and because we get a lot of family exactly. over for Christmas. And you always it, have the right thing. Well, Carla, thank you so much. What a pleasure thank to you, see Brenda. you again. Thank you, Jim. Good to see you Thank again. you so much. All right. Coming up next on HCA East Florida's Eat the Street That Go, presented by the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau, Salou Marie 104 and American Airlines, Metro Diner, another wonderful restaurant. You like food? Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. Mm -hmm.